Ukraine is using groundbreaking technology to revive old Soviet grenades that can be dropped from drones to eliminated Wagner soldiers. Incredible war zone footage has captured the moment a Ukrainian drone drops grenades on Wagner soldiers on the front line. Wagner soldiers were recently subjected to Ukrainian drone attacks in Bakhmut as the Bakhmut remains on the front lines of the war. By the way, bam. Ukrainian forces defending Bakhmut are facing increasingly strong pressure from Wagner forces, with intense fighting taking place in and around the city. Military experts note that Ukraine has turned Bakhmut into a meat grinder for Wagner forces. The conflict a hypermodern battleground where Ukrainian drones play a crucial role in surveillance, reconnaissance and drops grenades on Wagner soldiers. In the latest incident, this is the moment Wagner troops get struck by deadly bombing unleashed by Ukrainian drone operators on the gruesome battlefield in Bakhmut. With the footage taken show Ukrainian drones dropping bombs on Wagner soldiers who can be seen under trees and in trenches. The first piece of footage shows Ukrainian soldiers attaching two bombs to a drone and flying it over Wagner positions. Soon enough, the drone happens upon a soldier attempting to take cover underneath tree branches. As he tries to slowly crawl into a better hidden position, the first bomb goes off closely near him. But while having succeed in avoiding the first explosion, the second one appears to be a fatal one. A second piece of footage shows an even fiercer battle taking place as numerous Wagner soldiers scatter across the field while getting bombed by Ukrainian drones. Many Wagner soldiers can be seen abandoning their positions as they run to save their lives, but many more get hit in the deadly attacks. Bombs can be seen dropping left and right over the large field and into Wagner's foxholes, inflicting heavy explosion on their positions. Another footage, the begins with shows a bomb being dropped from a Ukrainian drone on Wagner positions in a tree line before the images show a second soldier being targeted. The footage then shows a Ukrainian drone targeting a trench, with the images also showing a soldier receiving a direct hit from a drone bomb. Drone also dropping a bomb on a group of Wagner soldiers as they scramble for cover. It seems, the Russian military has lost many of its best trained and most skilled soldiers in Ukraine, where casualties continue to mount after more than a year of fighting, and it is having a crippling effect on the combat power of Moscow's forces. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said Russia has already lost about 190.040 troops in Ukraine including 580 over the past day. Besides, Russia is losing scores of tanks with Ukraine's military developing a range of new tactics that include grenade-dropping drones. The Ukrainian army has rapidly evolved its tactics to take out tanks driving along motorways or into towns or villages. Video footage shared recently once again shows Ukrainian soldiers destroying Russian tanks in Bakhmut using just a drone and a grenade. The clip shows the drone's view of the tank from above. The drone sees three hatches open, suggesting the tank had already been abandoned. The drone operator drops an F1 grenade right into the open driver's hatch and quickly rises into the air to avoid the blast. What initially looks like a small explosion turns into a roaring fire, consuming the entire tank. Later in the video, the fire is seen spreading for meters around, and additional explosions also occur as ammunition and other components of the tank begin to combust. At the same time, the footage show how Ukrainian paratroopers repelled a Russian attack on their position and destroyed a tank using an anti-tank missile system. The footage shows the Russian tanks on fire, with smoke rising into the air after it was hit by Ukrainian ordnance. Ukrainian shelling can be seen hitting thereby, with Russian soldiers retreating from their position. 
The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reports that 3.697 Russian tanks are now visually confirmed to have been destroyed or captured in Ukraine since Russia began an invasion. Near the Donetsk region's Marinka, in the past 24 hours, Ukraine's Air Force has launched three strikes on Russian personnel clusters. Ukrainian missile and artillery units hit one Russian personnel cluster, two fuel depots, two air defense missile systems, one artillery unit, and one more important enemy target. Additionally, Ukrainian forces shot down four Russian unmanned aerial vehicles. Meanwhile, it is possible to say that Ukraine's counteroffensive will be the final battle only after the battle is over and if it leads to the complete liberation of Ukrainian territory. Dmitro Kuliba, Ukraine's foreign minister, said this at a joint press conference with the foreign ministers of the Nordic and Baltic countries in Odessa, and Ukraine Forum correspondent reports. We did discuss the issue of a counteroffensive. I gave my colleagues two signals that they seem to share. First, this counteroffensive should not be considered the final battle. The final battle will be the one that will lead to the complete liberation of the territory of Ukraine, but this is a conclusion that can only be made at the end of the battle not at the beginning," he said. Dmitro Kuliba warned that those who conclude that this is a decisive battle are distorting the picture and efforts. In his opinion, only in the end will it be possible to say that Ukraine has achieved all its goals or will it need another counteroffensive. We will fight until we liberate our territories. This is clear. If we need one counteroffensive to do this, we will have one counteroffensive. If we need two or more, we will have two or more," the head of Ukrainian diplomacy emphasized. The minister also noted that he did not know when the operation would begin and that it was up to the generals to decide. While Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky believes that the future counteroffensive of the armed forces of Ukraine will be successful in repelling Russian forces and returning Crimea to Ukrainian control. The relevant statement was made by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in an interview with Finland's national public broadcasting company YLE and other Nordic news outlets in Kyiv, in Ukrainform correspondent reports. Zelensky confirmed to YLE that Ukraine is planning a counterattack, noting that he believes it will be successful in repelling Russia's forces and also returning the Crimean Peninsula to Ukrainian control, the report states. At the same time, according to the head of state, Ukraine's success depends heavily on arms supplies from the West. We want to save as many lives as possible, so the number of weapons matters," the president of Ukraine said. Zelensky mentioned that Russian troops are losing motivation by the day. They are afraid of us and also of the consequences if they retreat, the head of state noted. The president of Ukraine also warned that the war could continue for years or even decades. It is cheaper for other countries to support Ukraine now than increase the risks of a third world war," Zelensky stressed. In his words, it is too early to tell if Finnish policy towards Ukraine would change with the incoming coalition. I hope that cooperation will also be good with the new Finnish government, because Finnish society supports Ukraine," Zelensky added. In particular, Ukraine counts on Finland's assistance with air defense, namely by sending old Hornet jets to Ukraine after they are decommissioned. But, this step would require the permission of the United States, which is the manufacturing country.